Hey, what's up guys? This is my video about the Valdata Recon G2. It's a 4.8 to 30 by 56 scope with a 40 millimeter tube on oh my. 40 millimeter. Now, before you even start wondering where would I even get rings for that, they come with the scope. And if you'll stick around to the end of the video, trust me, it could be worth several hundred dollars for you. Now I'm going to do like I do on all my other videos with this scope. I'm going to show you all the stuff about it up close. I'm going to show you how it performs at the range and show you something that I did that I cannot to this day believe I actually got on camera. And if that doesn't convince you how good a scope this is, I have no freaking idea what would. Now, if you stick with me for just a minute, I'd like to tell you a little bit about this scope and about Val, the guy that designed it. Now, Val from Valdetta Optics, the owner, operator, CEO, the big chief at Valdetta Optics, designed the reticles. He was also the first one to come up with a 40 millimeter tube that gives you 150 MOA. Now, let me show you what 150 MOA actually looks like. This is a picture of a target at 250 yards, and here's what 150 MOA actually looked like. Now, Val designed this scope with light optical works, and the reason being, because he was importing IOR scopes that were built to his specs, sometimes he wasn't getting them like he wanted. So he decided he would build his own scope. And the Valdata Recon is an incredible, incredible scope. So he decided to call this the Recon G2. Once Val got the first couple of samples in, they decided to just treat them like shit. They put them on 338 Lapuas, did everything they could to tear them up. I mean, literally, they were trying to destroy these things and they couldn't. They tried sample after sample after sample, never had a failure of any kind, never had to send anything back. Now, was it worth all the trouble? Was it worth all the time? Was it worth investment that he put into this thing? I'm fixing to show you. Let me show you this thing up close and show you what happened at the range. I think you'll enjoy it. All right, there that sexy beast is. Seriously, this thing is like optical Viagra. Now, it comes in a really heavy-duty box with plenty of foam padding, and here's everything that comes with it. Just a second, we'll look at everything, one thing at a time. It comes with the Valdata flip-up scope caps, which have a really interesting touch because the objective one actually screws in. It doesn't just fit on there with friction like some of the cheap scope caps do. There's the King Kong Valdata rings. These things have six screws on each freaking ring, 40 millimeter. They do not scar the scope at all, and they clamp down like a freaking snapping turk. It also comes with a three inch screw in sunshade that has the anti-glare coating inside of it and the grooves that cut down on it. It's got a spec sheet for the reticle, which is really handy. And I went on and got the level bubble because let's face it, I'm not going to be able to find this stuff everywhere else. It comes with all the Allen wrenches and extra screws for the rings, which is really freaking nice. Now on the eyepiece, it has the European quick focus eyepiece, and I'm not going to bullshit you in any way. Everything on this scope that moves, moves like it's on ball bearings. I know for a fact that this thing has the best internals that you can freaking buy from Light Optical Works in Japan. Everything just screams tier one because let's face it, if this is not a tier one scope, then there's not one out there. It is freaking incredible in every way. Now, right here, this little post that sticks out, what that is, is that's where they put the spring assembly that holds the rector assembly against the two turrets. They can torque it down and get it exactly perfect. That way it'll track like you're fixing to see how this thing tracks. Now it has an 11-step illumination with off in between each one. The illumination only lights up the center dot, which is all I need lighted up. You'll see it a little bit downrange in just a second. Now this thing takes a standard CR2032 battery. You can find these anywhere. Now the side focus on this thing is just as smooth as the eyepiece in the magnification ring. It goes down to 25 yards. And when I say it's dead nuts on, I measured it at 25, 50, 100, and 200 yards, and it focused perfect. Now the turrets on this thing, everything lines up exactly, exactly like it's supposed to. Now let me shut my big ass up for a minute and listen to these turrets. These things are so easy to feel in your hand 
They're so positive. You get immediate feedback. There's no slack. There's no slop. There's nothing about these turrets that isn't absolutely perfect. When I think of what I want a Scopes turrets to feel like and move around like, this is what I'm talking about. Side turret the exact same way. Listen to this thing. I love this freaking scope, period. And there's a lot more to love when you see what happens downrange. Okay, now the turrets can also be re-zeroed very easily. There's three screws around the side. You take the included Allen wrench that comes with it. Listen to this. That blew my freaking mind the first time I pulled that top turret off and saw just how tight everything is. Now right here I'm taking the zero lock off. Look at this thing. It's screwed in. It's not little brads that are broke off in there. Look at the machining on the internal turrets. Look at the finish. You can tell quality from a mile away. Look at how everything on this thing works. Now to work the zero stop, you just loosen it up, put it back on there, turn it clockwise, and once it hits a stop, you just take and tighten the three little internal screws, get them snug, it doesn't need to be that tight, and then just reinsert the turret. Make sure that the zero's lined up, tighten the screws on the turret, and then go to freaking work. Now watch how hard this zero stop does when it comes back around. I mean, it stops on a freaking dime. Bam. This zero stop is like everything else on this scope and everything lines up perfectly. All you have to do is line it up yourself. Now on the side turret, it also can be re-zeroed. One more quick look and let's hit the range. All right, not only do we have a nice looking local rifle range, we also have a big trap only in Texas. All right, let's start out and let me show you this thing at 100 yards on each magnification, 10, 20, and 30. This will give you an idea of the clarity that you get from this scope. Okay, now I'm gonna run through my regular test, just a little basic test right here. There's gonna be the vertical tracking, horizontal tracking, and box test. I've sped it up a little bit because there's just not that much to look at. Then, then we're gonna go for the bonus round. The bonus round separates the men from the boys and the almost tier one scopes from the tier one scopes. Now right here, I'm doing the turret values. I'm gonna run it down. Look how every single spot lines up. I've got this synced up so you can see exactly as I dial it, how it lines up. Now at the end of this, check this out too. Look at the reference points on this reticle. When I say this thing nails it in every conceivable single way, this is the kind of shit I'm talking about. All right, now, if you've never seen anything, anything I ever did on YouTube before, please watch this. I cannot believe I got this on video. Okay, guys, here's what I'm fixing to do. This is my Savage Stealth Evolution 223 with my Accutech bipod on it, and I have the recon mounted. I'm going to shoot five shots down range. I'm not going to stop, and we'll see what kind of group I can shoot, and I'm going to treat this like hell. All right, here we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> Did I say five shot group? I meant three. <laughs> okay, just a second, we'll keep going.
<laughs> okay, one more. Last one. Don't choke, don't choke, don't choke, don't choke. How about this joke? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what a tier one scope will do. These things are absolutely badass. I can't say enough. I literally cannot say enough about how impressive this scope is, not only through the glass, but through all the performance tests. It's a freaking beast. And you got to ask yourself, will my scope do that? All right, guys, and here that target is. I'm gonna frame this sucker. Now, I told you at the first of the video, I was gonna show you how to save some money at Valdata Optics. When you call Val on the phone, it won't work over the internet, but me and him, neither one are internet guys, and we weren't able to set it up like this. But if you will call him on the phone, tell him that you heard about this through Cyclops videos, you'll get 10% off any Valdata or our Valdata scope. And I wanted to let you guys know, Val does this as a favor to me. And when you're talking about 10% off of a $3,000 scope, or in this case, a $2,800 scope, that's a significant freaking savings. Now, all the Valdata scopes come with your choice of rings and bases, because when they're at 40 millimeter, you're not gonna walk into the hardware store and buy rings for one of these. And believe me when I tell you, the rings are every bit as tough as a scope. Guys, you're gonna see a link below to Valdata Optics. You'll see the specs on this scope. And do yourself a favor. Check out Glenn James's channel. There'll be a link down there. Check out Rex Tybor's channel, Tyborius Rex. See what he has to say about the Valdata Optics. Check out Richard Udding's channel and see what he says about them. There's links below to all of these channels. Look at their videos, check out their reviews. Me personally, if I'm gonna spend this kind of money, I'm not gonna take one guy's opinion. But when everybody is saying it over and over and over again, this is the best scope I've ever tested on my channel, period. The brightest, the sharpest, for sure the most repeatable most impressive. Thanks for watching guys. Check all the links. When you call Val on the phone, make sure and mention Cyclops videos. It'll damn sure be worth some money to you. See you.